key thing that you have to do is uh, look at self. Mm. Understand your strengths, understand your, your areas, of, uh, your weaknesses, your areas of gifted. Mm. Yeah, that is the beginning mm. of this journey. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mwenye Inchi Monday. We are still here with Pauline discussing uh, owning your career and all things career. So let's uh, get into it. Uh, would you say that there is a formula for success? Uh, yes. Okay. Actually, the, yes, there's a, there's a journey. I wouldn't say formula, maybe there's a journey to success. Actually, I talk about it in the book. Okay. Yeah, because uh, as I, we've been talking in the previous episodes, I said the first key thing that you have to do is uh, look at self. Mm. Understand your strengths, understand your, your areas, of, uh, your weaknesses, your areas of gifted. Mm. Yeah, that is the beginning mm. of this journey. Okay. Yeah, so once you've understood your gift in your area of gifting, the second key thing that you have to do is you have to focus. Mm -hmm. You have to actually focus and work and develop and nurture it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you an example. There are many people who have the talent of singing. Yeah, and many people sing in their shower. Yeah, you know of people sing in the shower. Yeah. Yeah, but there are many people who will uh, live and die having just sung in the shower. Mm. Yeah, the difference is when now you realize that I have this gift in and I want to do something about, about it. So it. the next stage is putting in effort. Okay. Yeah, so you put in effort and now that's where the focus comes in. This is where you go to school, mm -hmm. you get the right skills mm -hmm. for it. So you can, if it's music, you'll go for voice training. Yeah. You'll learn how to read the notes. Sort of yeah, investing music, in that. Yeah, in that's that starting to invest. Yeah. You're putting in you're practicing, you're yeah. putting in focus. Yeah. You're doing your ten thousand hours. Mm. Yeah. So you'll be getting better. So that person who was singing in the shower, the second step would be maybe let me volunteer in the choir mm. in church. Because that's where most of the singers Start. started. Yeah. Yeah. So every mm. Saturday you're practicing and Sunday you sing. So mm. you see what you're doing is you're putting in time and effort. Mm. Then now the third level is where you put in time, effort, and investment, mm. money. Mm. So that's where you learn a, 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 a instrument, you go to music school. That's where you will do voice training. Mm. You'll learn how to read the notes. Yeah? So you've put in effort, effort. Investment. investment. Yeah? Yeah. So you don't wake up one day and you become an opera mm. singer. Yeah. No? Yeah. There's a journey. Yeah. Yeah? So you need to do that for whatever skill it is. Mm. So even if it is baking, that journey, journey must be fully. It is a, a global, yeah. yes, it's a global, well understood talent development mm. journey. Mm. Yeah? And even if you want to create any your children into mm. masters in anything, yeah, that's the same journey we yeah. have to go through. Yeah. So they have to put in that time, that effort. So they focus. And once you focus, you do your ten thousand hours. Ten thousand hours is a concept that was brought up by Malcolm Gladwell in his popular book, uh, The Outliers. And he says that he discovered he's also a very, uh, he uses research mm. to talk about his, use uh, to share about his stories. Uh, and he did, they had done a research and they discovered that 10,000 hours is equivalent to 10 years. Mm. If you're able to do something consistently mm. and focus and you've developed your skill sets in that thing, yeah, that one thing, yeah, t for 10 years, yeah. you see the way I told you, I do a personal training every year. I've done it for 25 years you become a master in mm, it. Mm -hmm. That's how you become gain mastery. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you get to always be on top of the thing that you're doing. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the journey. So for me, I believe you have to focus. Yeah. Do your 10,000 hours. Mm -hmm. When you become a master, it's not that mastery is not for yourself. Mm. That's the point now you give it out. And that was my second point. Actually, <laughs> you've tapped into my second point where I was asking the question, so can one fully master their career? Can you, you can. After putting the 10,000 hours, you the can. 10 years. Okay. You can. Okay. And that's why we have masters mm. in music. Okay. That's why you have masters in their areas, mm. professors, whatever area it is, mm. you can gain mastery, mastery in that area. Once you gain that mastery, mastery. Uh -huh. now the point is mm. it's not for you. Okay. You give it to the world. Mm. You're meant to solve problems in this world yeah yeah so give solutions yeah once you're able to give it to the world and for me initially when i started this yeah i gave out so much wow. free work yeah 
yeah you give it out because when you're giving out that's when you're getting the concept that's mm. when you're learning mm. you're getting the models that mm. work mm. Mm. yeah so for mm. me what i'm doing right now is because i gave out a lot of free work eh? yeah so you give it out you gain the model that works yeah and then what happens profit will always follow passion mm. that's when now you you can now start making money out mm. of it mm. yeah you will be able once you have practice you've given it out you'll gain that goodwill from the market yeah and now people will be willing to pay for it mm. yeah so when we talk so about you make money out of it yeah yeah so when we're talking about mastering your career who would you say comes to mind would you say someone you've looked at and you're like this person has mastered their career has gained full mastery where locally anywhere anywhere mm. around, around no around like the, the people have mentioned like Malcolm Gladwell yeah superior yeah. writer yeah you read his books you can see mm. this is somebody who's mastered it yeah yeah he's been a top uh, new york uh, mm. Mm. Uh, 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 bestseller, yeah, bestseller. New York bestseller yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah any book he re- he produces mm. it all it's always mm. at the top mm. yeah even the people you see the operas even the actually the best is even uh the athletes yeah 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 mm. Huh? If you look at game, yes. and I was watching Keep his Chonge. documentary on yes. Chomax, the last yes. milestone, and you're like, yeah. this person has mastered That's the mastery. art of, yeah. Yes. And yeah. that journey of, He's of experience, that journey. exactly that. Yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. Yeah. You have to sacrifice to get to that level. Exactly. Yeah. So actually, sports demonstrates that the best. Eh? Mm, mm. Because sports, you can't do shortcuts. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, even the artists, even the artists who are able to sell good pieces, mm-hmm the same reason yeah yeah they've gone through that cycle yeah yeah okay. so I want, to, i want to segue a bit and take us into present day post i think we're we post or pre-covid we're still in we're covid, still in COVID. We're still in it. <laughs> so i think this pandemic has with regards to the field of career it's really highlighted maybe cracks yeah in how we go about yeah. you know our career so someone who maybe has been before the pandemic they were doing well they were thinking I'm here I'm in the right career then something happens I've been retrenched retrenched I've been yeah. laid off what advice would you give them that mm. they should have maybe put in before and also now in the position where they are in where they are just completely a mess don't know what to do mm. what what would mm. you say to them yeah yeah so especially the way majority of the people's careers have been affected yeah. during the pandemic mm. the world of work has also changed mm. yeah so and it's only going to change more yeah So the thing is and actually I would say coaching has actually now become a hit. Mm. Yeah, it's grown mm. in the pandemic. Mm. Reason being is that more and more people now have realized they need coaching. Mm. They realize oh, actually I was not focusing on my career. Yeah, so for me the first thing is just try and get a coach. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because they, uh, they'll be able to help you navigate, uh, introspect uh, deeper uh, and be able to see Yeah, be able to help you chat our way forward eh? mm. yeah because the thing of trying to do it alone remember you've already tried to do it alone, alone. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so far so the thing is always get help especially where you feel stuck the other key thing is this is the time for you to train and retrain yourself mm. yeah the skill sets are changing mm. so you need yeah. to understand where the careers are shifting exactly to. yeah you need to understand where the demand will be Yeah, and that's now where you need to start retooling yourself. Mm. Yeah, so you will find maybe you, previously you were doing uh, uh, maybe what uh, banking, because banking is one of those professions that is going to totally change. change. Actually, it's just beginning. Yeah, yeah, because there will be a lot of automation. Mm. Yeah, with the fourth industrial revolution, a mm. lot of jobs will be automated. Yes. So the key thing is to ask yourself, the role that I'm doing, can it be automated? Mm. If you think it can be automated. Mm. Just know to, it will be automated. Yeah. So what so it's the time thing to is, move. Yes. So okay. the thing is, and in your career always, there's one thing we talk about, always have a personal development plan, a career strategy. Mm. Always be five steps ahead. Eh? Mm. Always think five years ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're skilling five years ahead of you. Mm. Yeah. You're not skilling for the now. Yeah. So jobs are going to change. The landscape is going to change completely. Expose yourself to trade it. So like even the ascent program we actually show you which skills where the jobs are moving to uh yeah, equip yourself with skills yeah. now start training mm. so things like data analytics is going to become key mm. because everything will be dot- automated yeah so data will be key mm. uh, so if you upskill in data anal- uh, analytical Analytic. skills yeah you already have a job eh? yeah advantage yeah, you've already repositioned yourself yeah yeah 
things like uh, with automation, working from home, there's a lot of seclusion now, uh, where you're working on your own, you're lonely, mm. yeah? So what has happened? Mental health issues it's have reason, shot up, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, therapy has, yes. therapies have made so money therapies, in the pandemic. Yeah, so the care in careers, mm. and that's why coaching has become big, that's mm. why it's, yeah, it's uh, uh, therapists, yeah, yeah? counselors, mm. uh, business has shot up, mm. yeah, because the thing is, you realize the need, you you need to understand the environment, yeah. understand where we're going, yeah. and understand where the skills are moving to. Okay. Then ask yourself, how am I, where I am right now? Am I well positioned to transition to the oh, future? Yeah. yeah. So always transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't wait for for the time to be pushed to, to transition. Happen. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. So like for us in HR, coaching has become the big thing. Mm. Yeah. Like for me, I did uh, coaching in 2008. At that time, I think we were the third class uh, in Kenya at that time. Mm. And many people asking me, what is this you're doing? Now look at coaching, it's no, become big. Exactly, yeah. So the thing it's is, big, always yes. be five steps ahead, ahead of the crowd. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think that's what the pandemic has taught a lot of us. Be yeah. ready for change, yeah. be ready for transition and be prepared yeah. as, as opposed to letting it meet you and you're unprepared. Yeah. And yeah. then you see when you're old in your career, mm. you are understanding the trends exactly. in your career. Yes, so you can right. see where they're going. Exactly. So if you don't read yeah. and if you're not in tune with your industry, you'll always be caught, be caught flat-footed. Yeah. So okay. always be five ahead, steps ahead. ahead. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, this was our last episode with Pauline on Monyinchi Monday. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for having us. It's been great conversations. I've learned a lot. I'm mm -hmm. sure our audience has learned so much and yeah. has so many takeaways. So share those uh, with us down in the comment. Let's con in the comment section. Let's continue the conversations there. And thank you for watching. Make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. <laughs>